it's Lindsay, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do the booktube newbie tag. Um, I haven't been tagged by anyone but this seems to be a tag that people do when their channels are new so I thought I would give it a go. Uh, there are seven questions so let's just jump straight into it. Question number one is why did you start this channel? I talked a little bit about this in my introduction video which I'll link down below um, but one of the obvious and main reasons I started this channel is because I love reading um, and I have done since I was really young and I've read all my life and, and I just thought it was a really nice opportunity to share my thoughts on books that I've read with people who appreciate the same types of books or want to know more about a certain book or whatever it might be. I've also been watching booktube for quite some time and um, love watching different people's channels and looking at different content and finding out lots of things about other books that I haven't come across yet uh, and I thought it was a great opportunity to do something similar uh, but from my point of view. Question number two is what are some fun and unique things you're going to bring to booktube? I wouldn't necessarily say I'm going to bring anything unique to booktube but my reading tastes are going to be unique compared to everybody else's. There are going to be some types of books that I really like and other people don't like them so much um, so therefore I can bring something unique from that point of view uh, but the content that I upload some of it will be quite similar to things that you see on booktube all the time like wrap ups and um, TBRs in some instances and book calls and reviews and that sort of thing but that's the sort of content that people like watching that's why they come to booktube and I think as my channel develops and I put more stuff up and my confidence grows then I'm hopeful that some new ideas will spring to mind about some perhaps new content that I can create Question number three is what are you most excited about for your channel um, and the thing I'm most excited about is uh, being part of the community so uh, communicating and having chats about books with people who are on the same wavelength of me as me and like the same things as me or, or don't you know that like a bit of debate um, and so I'm just really looking forward to those conversations and perhaps making friends with um, people who you know read for pleasure like I do and have similar interests like I do I think it's a great great um, community to be a part of so that's what I'm most looking forward to about having this channel question number four is why do you love reading and I think my main answer to that is that it just takes me to so many different places I love to travel anyway but there's only one maybe two opportunities during the year for me to do that financially um, so pick up a book and I can go to Australia uh, pick up a book and I can be in the middle of Paris um, and there's something really magical about that so I love it because I get to go to lots of different places and I also love it because I get to learn lots of different things and I've always had a great love of learning and books help me to take my learning further and plus it's just fun it's a great way of escaping it's a great way of losing yourself for half an hour an hour at a time um, being part of a world that's completely different from your own um, and losing yourself in that world Question number five is what book or series got you into reading? This is a bit of a difficult one because I've been reading ever since I was a small child um, but there have been lots of series along the way that have kind of spurred me on I suppose or made me love reading more. I remember as sort of an 11 or 12 year old really loving the Babysitter's Club books uh, I don't know if any of you remember those but there were kind of I don't know about 50 books in the series or something like that and I remember going to the library and getting them out and I remember I had a whole shelf full of them that I owned at home and I absolutely loved those books. Um, I remember when the Twilight series came out um, and discovering those books in a bookshop and being really immersed in that series. 
I've heard some people say some negative things about the Twilight series and having not read them for about 10 years I can't I suppose I can't really comment but they're they're a part of I suppose my reading heritage so I'm always they're always going to be a part of me I suppose for that reason and then equally the Harry Potter series how how on earth could you mention your reading journey without or how on earth could I mention it without mentioning Harry Potter um, and again I learned about Harry Potter through um, a friend and they lent the books to me and one by one I caught up with the series uh, uh, until the very last book and we were anticipating the last book coming out and then um, my friend read the book and then lent it to me afterwards and yeah I'm still in love with that series and I'm rereading it at the moment I've, uh, I've read the first couple of books um, so I'm looking forward to picking up the third one again uh, question number six is what question would you ask your favourite booktuber? I've a, I, I suppose I don't really have a favourite booktuber but I follow an awful lot of channels and I have lots of booktubers that I really really like and I love the content they put up and I love listening to them talk about books and the discussions that they have and I love interacting with them in the comments and things like that. Um, so yeah some of the booktubers I really like are people like um, Savage Reads, um, Jen Campbell, uh, Kirsty from Melbourne On My Mind, um, they're the ones I can kind of think of off of the top of my head. One of the questions often pops into my head when I'm watching their wrap ups and things like that is how on earth do you read so many books? Um, because these people have jobs just like I have a full time job and yet they manage to read 8, 10, 12 books a month, in the case of Kirsty, 8 books a week and every time I watch one of her wrap ups I think to myself wow how on earth do you manage to fit so much reading in and I will be forever um, wondering, uh, wondering about that question although she did put up a video um, I think about a year ago now talking about um, how she does manage to fit so much in but it, it's still a bit of a mystery to me and then the final question, question number seven is what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will present? Um, I think making sure that I upload every week, at the moment I'm just planning on uploading a video a week as my channel sort of starts off and it starts growing. Um, find it's, so it's finding the time to make sure I film and then edit and then upload. Um, so that's a bit of a challenge, making sure I've always got something relevant to talk about. I don't want to make videos that people aren't interested in watching because what would be the point? I'm just kind of talking to myself, which I, I am in a way, but not. Um, so I think that's going to be a challenge. And making sure that I'm always reading. I am always a reader, any I've always got a book on the go. But with a, having a booktube channel, I've got to make sure that I'm reading enough to give me all of that kind of fresh content to bring. So it's just making sure that I keep up with it, trying to not play on my phone as much as I maybe do at the moment. Um, watching less TV, perhaps. Um, yeah, just taking advantage of all of those moments where I can read and actually reading. So those were all of the questions for the newbie tag. If you're new on booktube, I tag you uh, to make this video. Um, thanks very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.